Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting this beautiful Indian hawthorn tree form or standard uh, Indian hawthorn. Uh, this variety is called Rosalinda. It's uh, got beautiful clusters of pink flowers. They're fragrant. Uh, this is a very, I, I want to say, almost aggressive growing uh, Indian hawthorn compared to others. So most Indian hawthorns that we see in the marketplace are we're bred to be little dwarf compact things. Rosalinda can actually get over 12, 15 feet in height uh, and uh, makes a great screening plant. Um, if you can find this variety, again, it has great disease resistance. I've always found a uh, great screening plant. These are only hardy in eight, zone eight to 10. Uh, I'm in zone seven B in Raleigh, North Carolina. It'll be fine out here in my little urban space. If I was gonna get something really, really cold, I might come over here and throw a a blanket over it but again this one's been tree formed meaning it's been limbed up uh, from the bottom it's actually been in this pot for a very long period of time uh, it took to uh, to actually accomplish this this particular tree form is on its own stock meaning that it was just um, uh, a rooted cutting was taken and then it was trained uh, into a tree form other tree form things you find sometimes they're grafted uh, but uh, this is this video is not so much about uh, what this particular plant is, this Indian hawthorn. Um, it's me just using tree forms uh, in my landscape to create some height uh, in a very small landscape space. Uh, for me, if I want something out here that's, that's gonna end up seven or eight feet tall, uh, most things that get seven or eight feet tall can also end up seven or eight feet wide. And I just don't have that kind of space. I want lots of variety in my landscape. And uh, when I'm small space, uh, small space gardening, these little lollipops like this are perfect, uh, perfect pieces for that. And you can find uh, uh, single trunk crepe myrtles and you can find single trunk rosemary and, and uh, you know, hydrangeas. And there's an endless supply of, of, of interesting tree formed plants. So again, not so much about this Indian hawthorn as it is um, uh, use it, how, how to go about using them in the landscape. I've got a tree form uh, on Corzelia in the backyard. Uh, I've got a uh, hydrangea paniculata that I'm in the process of tree forming uh, by my shed uh, that I put in earlier this year. And, I, and if you follow the channel, subscribe to the channel, you can actually follow along with how I tree form uh, a plant that I've planted in my landscape, uh, as opposed to buying one that's already tree formed uh, like this one. But again, I'm gonna sink this one uh, right in this space and it's gonna give me a vertical element in a bed full of other low growing things. And then I can underplant this, you know, right up to the base of it, really. Uh, the little conifer that's next to it, um, that nightlight cami cypress, I'm actually moving. Um, I don't particularly like it uh, in that space, which is okay, happens. You plant things occasionally, you don't like them where they are. I may move that to a container. But this is the home for this uh, Rosalinda uh, tree form, uh, Indian hawthorn or standard, some people call uh, tree form standards but I'm gonna sink it in the ground real quick. I mounded it up when I planted it um, because I have heavy clay soils and uh, it's good to mound everything up a little bit in that. I mulched back over it after I was done. Uh, nothing that was uh, uncovered in the container is covered now. Uh, you don't, definitely don't want to bury them too deep. That's what I see most people's mistakes when planting plants. I have a lot of roots out here. The roots were fighting me. There was an old, there was a maple here that I removed last year, and those roots are going to be terrorizing me for a while. Uh, this again, this is Rosalinda, is this variety of Indian hawthorn. It grows very quickly, so already uh, you can see this foliage coming uh, as the. Uh, blooms will finish and it's gonna grow quite a bit. And so what I'm gonna to have to do is a couple times a season, just prune it back into the ball that I wanna keep it in. Really not that big of a deal, um, twice a year. I'll fertilize this in the spring. And again, this isn't so much about this Rosalinda Indian Hawthorn as it is just using tree forms in the landscape to create you know, a vertical element in a very flat you know, front yard and where I don't want you know, six by six, eight by eight shrubs growing. Uh, again, I'm going to move this uh, uh, camiociferous right here and some other uh, perennial things are going into that space. So I'll have summer color in and around this uh, Indian hawthorn. I'm building a small fence along the street here and I plan to uh, use at least one more tree farm out there just so that I can have something 
uh, just coming right over the top of a fence. I'd love to find a, a tree form rosemary. That's probably uh, kind of what I have in mind uh, for that area because it's super, super sunny. And I'm sure I'll, I'll probably add another uh, tree form somewhere in the yard. Again, I'm on two tenths of an acre in Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, I'm trying to get some some vertical things without eating up you know the entire landscape. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Again, I've got that um, a hydrangea in the backyard that I'm going to be tree forming over the course of uh, 2021. Thanks for watching.